I created my website about digital forensics using Google Sites, which is an online program that allows you to easily create a website and publish it to the internet using one interface. Google Sites are stored on Google Drive, which is easily accessible through the internet. It is edited using the Google platform, which is an online interface, which is allows users to edit on any different device just using their internet account. It is accessed once published using a URL and is applicable for everyone to look at once published. Google Sites, HTML, and CSS are all different ways to create websites. The major differences between Google Sites, HTML, and CSS is that HTML and CSS use hard coding to create the website versus Google Sites, which is a user-friendly and easy to get through way to create a website. CSC and HTML require coding background and programming to create versus Google Sites, which almost anyone can do. I created the banner and the logo using an online website named Pixlar. This website allowed me to layer the images and text which um, worked out to create the banner and the logo that I then put onto my homepage. The innovation that I looked at is digital forensics. Digital forensics is used to aid in criminal investigations and it's used by criminologists to look for and identify criminal and cyber attacks. Uh, below is a couple graphs and images that I found that highlight some of the uses of digital forensics, including the process and other information. Some of the impacts involve the benefits and effects of the innovation. Digital forensics has evidence that would no otherwise not be involved in the criminal cases. The innovation has extremely impacted society because it enables law enforcement to have a whole nother genre of criminologists to solve. Um, before this survey, I asked, or I asked in my survey to all the viewers if they've ever used digital forensics before, which many of them have not. I also provided a digital forensics form, which all my patrons went through and filled out. Many people interact with this particular innovation of digital forensics 
Mostly it's used in law enforcement and private investigations, but many different users interact with it using web history, IP addresses, and many other forms. Um, this is incorporated in one of the big ideas, which is the use of the internet. Next up is my video, which I use one of my friends to help me record, which highlight, which highlights digital forensics and how it is very common in everyday life, as I gave in my example about Arlington High School. How do you think digital forensics aids in criminal investigations? Well, I think it can be used as hard evidence in things like text messages because perpetrators communicate through phones the same way everybody else does. But it could also be used to track IP addresses for cyber crimes to locate perpetrators. In a world where a majority of our communication involves technology, digital forensics enables law enforcement to effectively track and prove the intent and extent of criminal activity. From setting up fake profiles to catch sex traffickers to simply tracing text messages, the impacts of these capabilities are incredible. This is my friend's house. If I was to break in right now, as you can see on the Wi-Fi, I automatically connect, so they know exactly what time and who came to their house. This is what happened at Arlington High School when a bunch of high schoolers broke in late at night to vandalize it. Their phones all connected to the Wi-Fi and they were easily caught. Throughout this video, I have spoken about the uses of digital forensics, and I want to provide more examples of how it has been used as described in the source I just highlighted. One example is through investigations into cyberbullying, where schools can figure out the extent of online bullying through digital forensics. Another is terrorism, as terrorists often recruit through the internet. In distracted driving cases, cell phone forensics can also provide information about what the driver was doing on their phone. It can also be used in data breaches involving theft of corporate data and business-related information. For more information, please visit my website and you'll find all the information you need.